here with Blake from Yamaha hey. at Synthplex. <laughs> Right on. How's it going? <laughs> it's going Mike great. From Yamaha here at Synthplex. <laughs> That's right. So this is the Modi X8 Plus. Um, this is the latest version of in the Modi X lineup. Um, it is a upgrade from the Modi X. Um, there's two major things about this that we have changed versus the previous model, the Modi X. The first is um, FMX polyphony. The FMX polyphony of the Modi X. Um, of the original Modi X was 64 voice polyphony. This is now 128, so it puts it at the same specification as the montage. And I have a sound in here, for example. This is an eight part FM TX816 electric piano. And I love the fact that this plays very nicely on this instrument, and it's due to that extra polyphony um, being able to access eight FMX parts simultaneously, like this. And it's such a nice. Anyway, so that's one of the benefits of having that extra polyphony. Um, you know, another sound I like is are these these larger pads. Um, this is a six-part FM pad. That just this. parts, being able to change that in real time with the super knob, that's a big update with this instrument. Um, the other thing in here, I have um, some extra sounds in here. We have the Bosendorfer library that we had with the previous instrument. Well, the new Bosendorfer library, we added eight new um, performances to that library. That's for free. And what that is, what I'm pointing out here is I load that into the um, flash memory on the instrument. We've upgraded that from the original Modi X, which was one gigabyte to 1.75 gigabytes in the Modi X 8 Plus. There's a six, seven, and eight plus, all of them brand new. Another thing is, it looks a little different. You have the blue as opposed to the white Modi That's X over here. on the back here. We have different pitch bend and modulation wheels. We've upgraded them. These are the ones from the Montage. So this is that rubber kind of smaller time. They feel really nice. It's just a different feel um, that we find, you know, it's kind of a little more pro. Um, it used to be silver panels on the side, now it's black, but other than that, those are the, it's the same instrument as the Modi X. It is fully compatible with all the Montage and Modi X libraries. Previous to that, um, you just get more polyphony, more flash memory, um, and a new look. Modi X Plus, that's it. That's great. Are the, are the keybeds the same then? On yeah, the, the keybeds are the same from the previous model, so we have the graded hammer action on the Modi X 8 Plus, and then the synth action on the 6 and the 7, same as the Modi X. So this is the nice graded hammer action. Post for library. Yeah, play me something cool. Smart Morph is also kind of a... Oh yeah, do some Smart Morph. I, that's a really cool feature. Smart Morph could... I mean, just right there, that's just the Smart Morph that I chose here. But if I want to mess with this, I can go back here to the um, edit screen and I can maybe choose some different things that it's going to use to Smart Morph. It's basically taking parts 9 um, through 16, and when I load FM sounds into those parts, the um, machine learning aspect of Smart Morph will look at what I've chosen and create a composite and then map it across the control service here. So I'll do that. I'll just add like a different uh, FMX type sound here to what, we're already, what we already had in the preset sound here. So I'll grab something maybe like this FM um, WR1 electric piano. Maybe I'll add another one here. How about something like a marimba, some kind of a chromatic percussion? Um, by the way, I'm, when I'm searching like this, I can also just look at only FMX sounds if I want to. Um, just something I wanted to point out there, but I'll choose a vibraphone. 
Okay, so now I have these two things that I've um, added. Now when I hit learn, it runs that machine learning code and it looks at the, the different parts that I have selected and it takes different aspects of that and makes some decisions on um, you know, what aspects it's going to highlight and then I can morph between um, all of that sounds in what I have here. So check it out, here's the sound. So it's taken all of these sounds, an EP sound, an organ sound, a bass sound, a pad sound, and a couple of uh, electric piano sound, and a, and a vibraphone sound, and it's mixed them together to create this new sound that I can move around in this grid here. And if I find a place that I really like in this grid, as I'm, which I found a couple of places that I thought were pretty cool. Okay, so I really like that sound. If I like it, I can save it right now to a new performance, and I've got a brand new FM sound. That's one of the cool things I like about Smart Morph is it allows you to have a graphic um, control that you can morph through the different sounds and really hear dramatic changes. It's like it's programming sounds automatically. It's, it's pretty cool. I really like that about Smart Morph right there. It's a much quicker way sometimes to... It's really interesting what it can do, though. I'm always just really blown away by it. You know, what it, what it comes up with. Really fascinating. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Blake. Yeah, thank you.